All right, women's steeple. This is another one where I think the NCAA championship picture is going to be reoriented after this weekend because Courtney Wayman of BYU, the NC, two-time NCAA indoor champion, is running her first steeple since 2017, Gordon, where she had a mark of uh, 10.04. I think she's going to smash that. That was four years ago. I think she's going to crush it. I think she's going to run sub 950. And in that race is is Hannah Steelman, who is one of the best in the nation. So we'll get to see Steelman versus Weymouth, which could end up being a preview of what we see at the NCAA championship. We still, do we know for sure, like Camelli is going to do people? Idea on that? If, if Of who's going to do the steeple? Don't, don't we have Camelli? Joyce Camelli in the in the steeple right now. Oh our, yeah, Joyce Camelli. Yeah. To be honest, man, I have no idea. They're all all these women. They're running the eights. They're running the tens, the fives, the steeples, the fifteen hundreds. <laughs> they're not making it easy to figure out. They're kind of just like, oh yeah. And yeah. then that's the problem, man. We, people need to just. What, what's the secret? Who are you trying to hide it from? Just let us know. You should be able to put on your T first page. I am doing this event, so you know, so I can <laughs> accurately rank events. Um, yeah, someone like Katie Rainsberger all of a sudden, you can see, put up yeah. a little video of her running the steeple. She just started running the steeple her fifth year senior year, right? This She's like, mm-hmm. all right, I'm going to become a steeple chaser. Um, you can see her on the screen there. Yeah, so you don't know anymore. Everyone is running the steeple. Everyone's not running it. You have everyone's running 15, <laughs> everyone's in 5, 10. I mean, we're going to see Shelby Houlihan running a 10K in a few weeks. So, like, I don't even know anymore. These women, there's all the range is all over the place. You're standing by that. I like that. That's a, you've been out there on an island for a couple of weeks now. When that entry list gets posted, you're just going to see Gordon pumping his fist. It's going to be remarkable. I think, though, Waymit, obviously, you saw how good she was in the 3K and indoors. I think she's going to be a, a great steepler. I think the plan, when I talked to the, the coach after indoors, I think, or maybe it was during indoors. I said, oh, so Courtney's going to focus on the 5K outdoors? She's like, no, steeple. And then I was like, wait, what? She's a steepler? And then I had to go all the way back and realize, okay, yeah, in 2017, she did run the steeple. There's some talent there, though. Obviously, Adva Cohen is in there uh, in the rankings. You got people like Charlotte Prouse, Camelli, we mentioned, Chrissy Gear, Steelman, Jennings, Devin Clark. There's a lot of experience there, but weigh it right now it would be tough to pick against her assuming she can get over the barriers just because how good she's good how good she is in a flat a flat five or sorry flat five, uh flat three thousand yeah uh we just need to know who the field is right because like you said you just mentioned chrissy yeah, gear yeah. but she's in the 1500 here and she ran the mile yeah. indoors so it's like what's going on man I'll, anyway mm-hmm. chris courtney weymouth i think though the question is does Wayman want to try to go all in on the steeple and be like, hey, maybe I should try to run in the low 930s, potentially crack a 930 to maybe try to get the Olympic standard? I mean, she has a talent. If, if she's an 850 quality 3K runner, you have to think that she right. could be able to flirt with the steeple Olympic standard. Um, yes. And there's not really any time to get the standard post NCAAs because it goes right into the trials. So maybe this is a chance for her to run out of her mind and try to get a a steeple standard to go to the Olympics. Yeah. Olympic trials. I think that's part of it too, is can you win your event at the NCAA championships and can you get a qualifier to get you into the trials and make you competitive at the trials? And if you could do both of those things – then that's a bonus. That makes sense. Anybody around the 5K right now on, on the NCAA side of things is going to have a tough time, you know, being a factor at the trials just because of how good that that event is. Basically one through, what, 10, 12, whereas the steeple, after those top couple, there's definitely room for people to, to make a run at it. Now, 